Hello and welcome back to my tips and tricks videos. Um, in this video, I'm not going to do anything about Skype. I know you might have a shock if you've been watching some of the other videos, but this one is for those of you who need to email or send web links, you know, regularly and may not realize, but there are services about that will shorten your web URL or web address um, to make it much easier to, in particular, email or to send a link to someone in an instant message or a text or some, something else. And you might say, well, why do I, why would we bother with that? Well, in particular, when you're emailing a link um, and it's a really big long link and I've got my own, you can see my own YouTube channel up and you can see if I highlight that, I mean, that's not, you know, by any means the largest, you know, link around. Some of them go way, you know, over. When you copy and paste that into an email, the body of an email, sometimes some email clients will put in a line break because the, the, the line is too long for one line, so they break it. And this line break actually breaks the web address. So the person at the other end gets your email, goes to click on the link, and the link comes up with, you know, a 404 error, you know, page cannot be found, all this, and the person's got to go back and try and copy and paste the link. So it can get very unwieldy and convoluted. So what can you do to make, say, a link like this much shorter? Well, there are a number of link shortening services, uh, such as Bitly, for instance, but I'm using uh, Google's link shortener. Why? Because I'm lazy and I've already have a Google account and it's you know much easier. I'm already logged into my Google account. So how does this work? So if I just open up another tab and type G O dot G L, this will load up my link shortener. And you already see I've got other links here. So that's my link shortener. It's part of Google services. If you've got a Gmail account or a Google Plus account, if you've got a Google account and you type gwo.gl, you'll see over here that it's it's got my Gmail account. Um, so it's already linked. In other words, it's, it's, it's a service that's part of Google. You can see that it's a fairly old service because it doesn't look as nice the UI doesn't look as nice as Google Plus or, or that it hasn't really been worked on in, in a while, I don't think. But how does this work? So you've got this link, and for this the example, I'm going to use my own YouTube link. Now, as I say, it's not the largest link, but it will give you an idea. So if I click on that, and I usually right-click and go Copy, I go back to the link shortener, and I go Control-V to paste that link in. And I then click shorten link. And there Google has created, and the beauty is you can see here, Google has created a shortened link, very much shorter than that long. And it's also put a snapshot of, in this case, my YouTube channel. That's important because you want that snapshot to come up because you wanna make sure you haven't messed up copying and pasting the link in to your uh, link shortener. So that's always, and it's already C, control C to copy. So you're ready. You could now open up your email client and you could copy this, compare this to that. You know, it's a much shorter link. It's a much easier link to deal with. The only thing is, that link doesn't really tell you where it's going. So when you put this in an email, you know, it's probably you know, advisable to tell the person in the email, this is a link to my YouTube channel, you know, so that they know and they don't, you know, they don't look at this and go, where the hell is it taking me? The other thing that, will, that it will also do, as you can see that it's already put it here, is it will give you some basic analytics. It will tell you how many people have clicked on that particular link. And, and it will keep it. So you can go back in future and, you know, if someone says, what's your YouTube channel, you can email them that. If you want to put your YouTube channel um, web link in, say, an email signature, you know, you don't want this huge thing. You would much prefer 
that. And so that's the beauty of, of link shortness. Now, Google or goo.gl is certainly not the only one around. Um, as I said earlier, bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y, if you just type that into Google, that'll give you the link to their site. There are a number of other sites, so I'm not, you know, um, downplaying the other sites. I use this because it's quick, it's easy, it's linked to my Google account, so I don't have to have a separate password and username or some other thing to log into it, and they're all here. Uh, for me to use. So it adds a bit like a bookmarking tool, but it really is handy if you want to email out or do something with web links. So this is just a short tutorial on how to set up uh, and use Google's URL shortener. I hope you found this useful. If um, you did, please click the like button on my video. And as always, if you find this video on my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. And that means you will be let know when I've put more videos up.